Alright YouTube, welcome to your 21st React Native tutorial. Now let's just continue with the navigation part of uh, adding navigations and stuff like that, cool stuff to actually add more pages to our application. So if we haven't done so far, it's just installed React Navigation Package which allows us to do powerful things. So um, if you look at the docs, you can see that we have something known as creating a stack navigator. So what exactly that means is that think of a stack, right? So if you think of a stack, what it is, is you push some items, right? So this is the first item you push. This is the second, this is the third, and so on and so forth. So from a stack, what you have to do is just take the first item out to get the second. Take the second item out to get the third take the third item out to get the fourth and uh, this is how most of the applications navigations is supposed to work right for example if you go deep into a application context like you go into dashboard then to your settings then into your change profile picture and then if you click on back you expect to get back to settings not directly to dashboard or anything like that right so stack navigator creates a stack navigator as it says and allows you to perform various kind of operations allows you to display different screens according to different routes you specify so let's just take a look into that real quick so what we have right now is if you can just get rid of this right so we have a bunch of styles and the hello world screen but the doc says to create a stack navigator you have to first of all import this create stack navigator function and then default export it instead of your actual component so what we're gonna do is right here and actually let me just get rid of these styles also or actually we can just keep it anyways so we're gonna import the stack navigator and we're gonna do export default create stack navigator which would accept our object as the um, routes settings right so we're gonna say home is our home and let's just say test is our test right so now what I'm gonna do is remove this and uh, I'm gonna say let's just say home is app there we go and I'm gonna create another component and I'm gonna say this is this is app component and get rid of this and get rid of this as well and I'm gonna say this is test component and change it to test and get rid of all of this text right so what we have now is a couple of components which we expect to display right so what we want to do next is actually allow a user to switch to the other component right and to do that what we have to do is you can see that uh, um, it would be on the next screen you have to add a props.navigation method so what it does is that it accepts a string and I believe it could accept a component as well all right anyways so um, when you do an export default of this create stack navigator what it would do is basically every component listed right here would have the props to actually navigate to another component right so that's useful in the case you want to switch screens so for example in this case I'm gonna say button on click uh, let me just import it so that it helps me a little here right so I'm gonna say on on press here not on click so I'm gonna say this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and I'm gonna say app right 
and uh, go to app right and I'm not really sure it was the title property or what but we'll see we're gonna copy the similar thing paste it just right here and I'm gonna say go to um, test hit save and why the heck is it not reloading let me just shake the device here Whoa. Um, enable live reloading there we are hit save and yeah so this should be actually title not included like that title let's go to test and title let's go to app So you can see that we have uh, um, a very basic app here so if I click on go to test and actually obviously you need to make sure to match the name of the key right so if we do like go now you can see that we get this is the test component and obviously for this as well we need to match the name of the key not the component right and it's say let's just reload one more time and you can see we get go to test I can click on go to app again you can see that it pops the screen instead of like pushing it again right so this is kind of the expected behavior expected default behavior you want you can obviously customize it to override that later on but you can see that if I click on this you get a back button here as well as well as this title bar by default by the stack navigator you can customize all of this stuff in the options uh, with the options you can pass right but uh, this is a very basic example of creating a stack navigator so um, you can create another screen right here which is like test 2 and uh, you know it can include some more things like uh, we can just go to now test 2 like that and I can just say home now go to app there we go and I can use test 2 as test 2 and if we save this and let it reload so this is the app component go to test this is the test component this is the test 2 component and again go to app returns us back to the original application so that's basically it for i guess a very demo version of react navigation and that's all for this video if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching it really helps so i'll see you then in the next video